Ukrainian soldiers have already liberated eight settlements. Within two weeks, Ukrainian defenders liberated eight settlements in the Berdyansk and Melitopol directions. This was announced by Deputy Defense Minister Hanna Malia in her Telegram channel. According to her, last week, Ukrainian troops were both on the offensive and on the defensive. In the east, the enemy made a lot of efforts to stop the advance of Ukrainian troops in the Bakhmut direction. Russians transferred additional units there and increased the number of shelling. As Malia informed, the overall intensity of the fighting in this direction decreased last week. However, the fighting continued. There were 41 clashes and Ukrainian troops advanced into the depths of the occupied territories in several areas. The enemy continued to advance last week in the Limano, Kupiansky, Avdivsky and Mariinsky directions. We did not lose a single meter of land in these directions thanks to the professionalism and courage of our fighters, she said. In the south, as the Deputy Minister of Defense stated, over the past week, there has been an offensive in several directions. The missile and artillery units of the Toria Defense Forces completed 10,125 fire missions during the week. During two weeks of offensive operations in the Berdyansk and Melitopol directions for the indicated period, units in the Tavria liberated eight settlements Novodarivka, Levadny, Storoziv, Makarivka, Blahodatny, Lobkove, Neskuchny and Piati Katki. In general, units in the Toria direction advanced in the depth of the enemy is up to 6 kilometers. The area liberated in the south is 113 square kilometers. The active work of the defense forces of the Toria direction continues, Malia said. Over the past week, she said the enemy suffered significant losses. In particular, last week, the enemy's losses in all directions amounted to more than 4,600 killed and wounded. In addition, Ukrainian defenders captured more than 80 aggressor fighters. 